Hey folks, Big Dean here again. And, yeah, apologies are in order. <laughs> um, I apologise for the absence. Um, basically, I ran out of stuff to review. <laughs> um, I didn't want to review old stuff. Um, I, To be quite honest with you, I wasn't in the mood. And a couple of things back to back that I had pre-ordered actually fell through <laughs> so um i'm currently waiting on super saiyan god goku get to here and next month i will also have a couple of the a uh, last jedi figures coming and yeah we're getting back on track now <laughs> starting off with um back when i reviewed the Figure Eyes Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I completely forgot that I never reviewed this guy. I got him in, built him, and put him on display and completely forgot. <laughs> so, apologies there. Um, but yeah, first thing is first. Um, let us take a look at the packaging, which is huge. <laughs> I'm telling you right, right now. Uh, let's get him out of the frame. And yeah, this is the box here. Um, nice picture. Again, figure eyes like to use the the figure, but then the face is actually like anime accurate sort of thing. It's quite strange. A picture of the two of them fusing, which is good because it's almost impossible to get them into that pose. So I'm not going to be bothering trying to do it in this video. Um, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, he comes with two faces, unfortunately you don't get a normal stern face, you just get a smirk and a yelling face. Um, his effects, um, again, something with fusion. Strangely enough, they've never came out with a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I thought that would have came after these two, but it never materialised. <laughs> now they're on to Super Saiyan Blue, <laughs> which is very, very strange. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything the box has got. We've got, quickly show, pictures from the anime, some pictures of them, but yeah, upside down, I can't get to it. Uh, and the rest is just a plain brown box. So yeah, let's take a look at the accessories, shall we? First one being this one. Um, which is his final shine attack um, and it's pretty good actually looks quite similar to the show um, it is coming apart there why is that um, yeah um, it's something different the final shine always looked a bit different on the, uh, the show the only problem is they've put it they've put the actual hole a bit too far here because it's quite top heavy shall we say. It wants to just fall. <laughs> but still good that they made something different there. Um, you've also got this, which is a very large version of the Kamehameha. I mean, it is literally the same design. I've literally just enlarged it, but that's fair enough. A bit too big for the final shine, I would say, but even so, it's a decent looking thing. And it substitutes quite well on Broly. <laughs> so, yeah. You also come with a couple of different hands. You've got his fusion hands. Which, of course, Goku and Vegeta both come with. Um, I think one, one thing they could have made better so that the actual fusion worked is just have these just fused together. So that you could then move everything else round about it, but that's just me drawing on. Um, you have these sort of grippy key blast hands, and that's your lot. Unfortunately, well, I think the newer figures are coming with normal sort of splayed open key blast hands, but these ones don't have them, unfortunately, which is a bit strange because Vegeta's final shine used those to actually launch <laughs> launch the attack and uh, you do have 
the extra face, which is the yelling one. Looks quite good. Um, the Super Saiyan 4s do tend to look a bit evil with the, the amount of red that they put round about the eyes. They could have uh, lowered that a little bit. But, what are you going to do? And the final thing you get is this little thing here, which can plug into his backside, and that supports a stand. Much better than the clamps that they used to come with, and I think they've started coming with them again. It's a bit strange. Yeah. On to Vegeta. Um, and he is a pretty decent figure. He's actually... <laughs> Quite a few people have said that because they've reused Goku's torso and um, upper arms with him, that he looks a bit too uh, wide. But I don't see it. I think it actually makes him look better. Because, I mean, if you take a look at the Goku, combined with the fact that you can't really get him standing straight without forcing him back the way, um, he always looks as if he's drooping forward. Um, but that, um, yeah, he actually looks better in a sort of <laughs> stance. Uh, but yeah, the details are alright. They've just remoulded Goku's torso, like I said, in the redder plastic to go with Vegeta. Um, his hair is very nicely done. I had to super glue this bottom piece because it kept falling off. Uh, to change the face, you can pop off this front piece, but you don't even need to. Uh, you can just do like so. And works just as well. And yeah, that looks good as well. The hands are just ball pegs. can easily swap them out. And yeah, the articulation leaves a little bit to be desired, but it's good enough to where you don't notice it too badly. Uh, his head is on a ball joint, but this hair sort of gets in the way. They've tried to circumvent it by having these out a bit, which isn't as noticeable as the Goku's was, so that's a plus. Um, but he can't look up at all. He can look down only that much. And side to side is limited to there. Um, his arms, completely fine. Although you do get this strange just gap. <laughs> um, gap, sorry. <clears throat> I lost my voice. Um, you do get the swivel there. Um, single jointed elbow, but... You can pop it out to get better range, which is quite a, a good little design. Um, doesn't swivel at the glove, just at the wrist. Uh, he can swivel side to side here. This joint here is completely useless, same as Goku's. It really does absolutely nothing. Um, you can push him back, but again, you instantly see the joint there. The legs are on a pull down joint, which allows them to kick out very far. And um, can also bring me forward, like so. A single jointed knee, which is a bit strange, uh, but still works just fine. And these two seconds. Apologies, folks. Um, someone just came to the door, and my uh, lovely mother was very loud. <laughs> so yeah, where were we? Um, yeah, the feet have decent a uh, swivel, but not too much. Can go down quite a bit, so it can look as if he's flying, and no toe articulation because, of course, that's too um, difficult to make into like a model kit sort of thing and the tail does swivel although it tends to pop out quite easy uh, but 
you're not really going to move it from where it usually is anyway, are you? But yeah, guys, would I recommend this guy? Oh, and I almost forgot. He does have a um, butterfly joint, which works... It works okay. Uh, I mean, the, the sheer bulk of the arm still makes it quite difficult to do anything with. But it does the job, I suppose. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, <laughs> would I recommend this figure? Um, yes, yes I definitely would, especially if you already have the Goku. Um, these figures are probably the closest you're going to get to Figure Arts 1s until Figure Arts uh, decide they're going to do them again. Because, I don't know why, I think it was because Super was coming out that they sort of dropped the plans for them. Uh, because the, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku looked really good. He did. Uh, and they sort of just disposed of him, shall I say? <laughs> uh, but yeah. Definitely worth it if you can... Um, if you can spare the time to build them. So yeah, guys. That'll do it for this review. And next time won't be as long of a wait because, as I said, Super Saiyan God Goku is in the mail. And, yeah, I'll, I think I'm going to have to start <laughs> reviewing some older figures as well. Um, just in the meantime, waiting on the influx of figures coming. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later.